thing of commentary. We got Bayonetta. We got BDD. Okay. Cause it call it's, uh, some pretty standard picks here. We see uh Mendy going with the Joker here instead of the uh, the Wario. We've been seeing them or the Mario. We've been seeing them play all day. And uh, Dikaru, who I don't think was entered in singles bracket, going with the dark hit. So let's see how this goes. I mean, right now we're already kind of putting things off into a series of 1v1s. Unity uh, versus Joker, maybe uh, not the most advantageous matchup, but Shaman definitely holding things down with the Bayonetta on the other side there. And actually just kind of wading into the middle there. That Rebels Guard giving over a good chunk of Arsene, though. And that's, uh, are they trying to attack each other? Is there, oh, something's not right. Oh, team attack isn't on. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. All right, hold on. we gotta get that fixed up real quick. They're gonna get that solved. It doesn't have the. You can't hear your your own voice in it anymore. I would. Oh. It's so like the mic. If you wear it on your neck, the mic doesn't really pick it up as well. To be honest, that's the that's the um. What's it? The uh, monitoring mic. You want to use that guy there? Team battle. Team TDD. Team TDD. Team TDD. All right. Okay. So we got Drago here on the mic, joining me for doubles commentary, and uh, we are hitting buttons on the character select screen. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, set up now. Three, two, one, go! All right, so rematch here, and uh, significantly more brawly than we saw at the beginning of the uh, the first uh, first game that we had to reset. Which well, I expect because it's doubles. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all four players come on top of each other for quite a bit. Things are splitting off a little bit. Fay catching a landing with that up smash. Gonna take the first stock of the game. There's a quite a bit of chaos there. B the bailing out their teammate here, giving Dikaru a little bit of room to breathe with their Arsene. Speaking of, still about half of an Arsene bar left. Fay kind of holding it down right now with the DDD. I mean, it's supposed to be a. Uh... Stock sponge at this point. Just don't die. Yeah, but I mean, you know, doing a little bit more than uh, that even. Uh, oh, that wait, was did, huge. Was that two birds of one stone? It was. Say, uh, dropping a stock there as well, but hey, you know, that still puts you well into the positive off of that smash. Are they both on their last stock? Uh, I believe so, yes. Wow. Yeah, that happened fast. We are, uh, wait. My overlay may be blocking one of Smendy's stocks. That might be two stocks on Smendy. This, uh, this overlay was not optimized for doubles. So no, I apologize that for that. Oh, Smendy going high to find that back air. Take another stock. Clearing off the stage here for Dakaru to be able to get back. Damon, they're throwing out one of those, uh, one of those giant haymakers. Yeah, it was coming up one of his stocks. So now Schmendy should be on his last stock. Yep, Schmendy is down to one stock. Their teammate is gone. No, uh, no dark pit here to bail him out. And they're trying to combo oh, into the no. jet hammer. They're looking for something rude. I'd just say in that case, Shaman, just sacrifice yourself and. Just, just let yourself get hit at the same time. You have three stocks, but he has one. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's probably worth it at that point. Our set is out, you know. Smendy may be able to uh, get a few good licks in here with that. Looking, certainly looking for it. There's a stock gone. Yeah, Shaman's no, just... not going to get out of this with uh, all their stocks in fact. Smendy's really moving right now. Smendy's trying to hold on to this for everything they've got. Baze is trying to get the stock off as fast as possible. Even going as far as trying to edge guard Joker to this extent. Oh, the up tilt though from Faye finally gonna shut that down. That means that Shaman Faye's gonna take it that game one. But you know, I mean, 
Mendy was really keeping them moving there, really making them work for that last kill. And I was just playing him in friendlies. He's really good movement wise. Yeah, movement wise, we've seen that a lot throughout the night. They've been playing Mario mostly throughout the night in the singles bracket, and we saw quite a bit of movement from them, quite a bit of uh, misdirection and maintaining the spacing and just you know pokes and prods here and there. Which uh, is a, is a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid go-to playstyle when you're playing two v one. But we'll see how game two here goes. Hikaru might be able to uh, get a few more licks in there. If you hold on to those, a few of those stocks a little bit longer. Same in hovering the Incineroar here. That is a very, very heavy team from Shaman and Faye. Yeah, a little team of heavies. Bendy and Dakaru uh, maybe strategizing a little bit here, deciding. They might be thinking of, okay, what do we do for double heavies? And one of them is Incineroar, who, if we touch, basically gets our Sen for one single hit. Right, right. But, you know, might lose a stock for two at the same time. Dakaru moving into the Sonic. Mendy pulling out the classic Mario here. Oh, hold on. Still thinking, still thinking. Hero and Lucas. Okay, game two. Let's see if these character picks shake things up a little bit. Hero Lucas. Going right in. Dakaru immediately throwing a fully charged zap. Right off the bat, and then I'm trying to see Karu decide to didn't decide to just say, "Okay, screw it. Let me just do a kaboom because it's top deck." Yeah, no, uh, no command menu out yet. Just uh, fully charged regular. Oh no, he did bring it out. He did a crack a slash, but it completely missed. Ah. Huh. Yeah, you know, I guess in doubles, it's probably pretty tough to get a chance to actually uh, read that command menu. Come to think of it. Oh, big fireball there, though. Not going to find a hit. Gordo setting up the phase forward smash as well. Mendy in a bad spot off stage, and Dakaru is not much better. Yeah, Dakaru just set up bounce in order to reflect Gordo, but it's not really doing them much that good when he's fighting Incineroar. There's the up smash to take out Dakaru's stock, and the other two will get taken down because Faye decides to uh, inhale. They are, uh, yeah, maybe going a little bit deep out there. Powering right through their teammate's shield to make that up air on two targets. As, uh, Faye had all three people in that up air there for a moment. That jet hammer, mix up. Oh, not quite going to hit. Faye really wants that, though. We've been seeing Faye go for that a bunch. Holding uh, Trendy in place for that uh, hero neutral view, though. Is that oomph for Psycho? I can never tell by the graphics. Well, depends. Uh, Psycho gives it like a fire aura and. Oomph gets it, uh, gives you a sparkly aura. Like, basically a red accelerate. Okay, gotcha. That's how so, a red accelerate, oomph. A, um, pure red flame, thank up. Uh, there's a kaboom. Oh, he hit this teammate with it. Oh. Down to now get a two frame. They're just, try, they're just trading who they're trying to beat the crap out of instantly. Back yeah, throw. and Shaman's Incineroar has been holding down the ledge pretty proficiently here. This time, uh, Shmendi, once again, wow. not going to get to live for as long in that, uh... Oh, I never updated the score last match. Shoot, huh? My bad. But yeah, that's uh, Shaman Fairy taking the 2-0 there. Uh, oh, no. that are, it? They, are they doing best of five for doubles? Considering like the whole bracket at this point? Oh, best they did it for losers. So I Looks think like they're they doing did, it. yeah. Alright, well. You might be doing it. Looks like that's gonna be the case. Damon uh, clicked into the uh, Steve there. Mario and Sonic. At the Olympic Games. Yeah, we got ourselves the uh, the Olympics team going here. Pyro. Olympics versus DLC. I can dig it. 
Olympics versus 1089 or 1189 I should say something like that I'm not good at math yeah I'm not trying to focus on math I'm focusing on the game right now Ooh. anvil there stopping uh Spendy's recovery pretty early not enough to pick a stop but you know those anvils uh they hurt oh no anvil this time there is not enough armor available both on edge there's no gimp Holding attack, just charging, but, you know, uh, Shaman is waiting, waiting that out. Oh. Bendy, this isn't, this isn't Yoshi's, you can't just up be someone and expect him to die. They're staying with the, uh, side beast there, the blazing ends, just trying to hold down that ledge. Yep. Get that pressure out there, give, uh, Shaman a chance to find the stock. We'll put it down there for Shishmendi to try and get the stock off. Haru finding a stock with that Sonic forward smash instead. He's looking a little, uh, a little bit closer this Looks time like than we saw mess. before. Minecart set up. Damon looking for something. Oh no, Faye! Faye got caught in the minecart! Harry is all the way through on that sword throw. Yeah, Schmendy really is going for that, uh, that upbeat pretty frequently. It's not killing, but, you know, I guess maybe you're just trying to buy time for your teammate to get some work done. Probably is. Or maybe they're just decided they need to lock down Shaman for as long as possible. Oh my goodness. Oh! oh. That's a stock one for Schmendy. And Ikaru rolling straight into the up smash. Yeah, Faye Shaman starting to pull away in this match up here. Oh, that homing attack did not go where I thought it was going to. Oh no, it did not. Well, isn't I was about to say, I wonder if, I was about to say, if Faye actually just did a suicide upbeat, oh, he would have taken it. Oh, the betrayal! They even dropped an anvil on Faye there, and then died for it, but Faye didn't. Oh, we got the Minecraft ladders. <laughs> we got grabs. Yeah, just trying to, uh... Oh, Faye got caught in another minecart there. Oh. This, uh, can't be fun. It really isn't. You calling your own teammates minecart doesn't sound fun. Haru getting some pretty solid hits in with the homing attack though. Yeah. Covering space for Shmendi there. That minecart sent him so far out, but uh, Shmendi's still able to recover. I just realized they have to focus on Shaman because Shaman's up on her last stock. Ooh, oh! The double oh. KO. Setting up with the double KO off of the pickaxe off the screen there. Or off of the corner of the screen. Let's go. Alright, that is going to be the 3 0 for Shaman Fay. So, I believe uh, next up we're going to be seeing uh, Fendi and Dakaru descend to the losers' final to play versus doubles and Enigma. An Enigma. And well, at this point, sure uh, they're, they're still both here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and at this point, that means Shaman and Faye have fought uh, every team that they that is left in the bracket and pulled a win, so all they gotta do is pull a repeat of that to take Grands as well. Whether that would be a repeat versus Shmendi Dakaru or Double the Enigma remains to be seen. I should probably tap those names in. So we have them... Yeah. You should probably change the other team from Shaman and Faye to uh, the correct team. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's also a thing. That was uh, Shaman. Haru. Now it should be correct. And this is how. Who's his final? You should also probably slot the sides. Oh yeah, and reset the score. Yes. There it's we a go. Small play is one okay, see, now we're good. Now we're set. Cool. Game one of the Losers Finals for doubles here. 
one of the players is named Double, so that's gotta be worth something. Double oh, DJ! <laughs> oh no, I just realized what they're dealing with. In... That was how much combined percent? I don't even know. Wait, is this even a racket? That? Double DK, shoot. <laughs> it's, it's not. not it's not. It's Faye and Shaman versus Karu and Schmendi still. Because they didn't change tags. Yeah, wait, it, what? Look at the player cam of who's sitting there still. I see Faye. What? Yeah, wait, hold on. What's going on? I thought that was supposed to be. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if this is yeah, here. Yeah, that was game three, right? I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll keep commentating anyways, just to, uh. Oh, that was Grand? Oh, the bracket's not updated. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. You commentate, I'll fix everything. All right, so now we got that six. I, I look at the bracket, I'm like, oh, we're on winner's final. No problem, but no, we're on grand. And yeah, Shaman and Faye opting for the double DK. For this last game, or potentially last game. This is a best of seven, I guess. Oh, okay, all right, I got you. That makes sense. All right, you know, by splitting things up, they're, uh, what just happened? The, the giant punch oh. just cleared three stocks. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. You know, but you got to feel pretty good about that if you're Faye regardless. Did you lose that game? Sure. Did you clear three people with a giant punch? Absolutely. Oh, you, you're right. It's a wait. Is it a bracket reset? I thought. Yeah, but didn't Shane and Faye are up three, right? Oh, okay. So, so we're zero one. Okay. Bracket not being updated is playing hell with my tracking of the set. My apologies. Okay, so it's zero one. We're on the bracket reset. My apologies. If you've been trying to track the score here, I apologize because I have no idea what I'm doing. Double rob this time. Interesting. Bendy, uh, Dekaru. Trying to deal with that pressure, but Rob, uh, significantly better neutral than DK. The balance is out from the Karu here, though, so... Not gonna have to worry about the... Well, no, now it's gone. <laughs> oh, huge spike there from Shaman. And a setup onto the Karu as well. No kill, but solid percentage there, too. The team combo is looking kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, laser friendly fire there, but Faye was ready for it. Had the shield, the boom gonna send Faye way out. The car was trying to cover the ledge there, big forward smash. Pulling away here with the uh, Hero Rosalina. Some very unusual picks. Karu kind of going off to the parry there. Faye trying to set up for the up smash, but it wasn't quite enough distance. Sniping the Luma as Rosalina dies too with the laser. I mean, perfectly timing that first spike, but it wasn't enough to kill Rosalina there. 
Shikaru coming to Shmendi's aid to get them back onto the stage, but didn't do him a whole lot of good. Why did Faye Chapman just hit Faye like that? For no reason, there was nothing there. Haru once again bailing out Shmendi from that uh that Rob Rotor. I feel like uh Haru's been pretty quick to Shmendi's rescue quite a few times this game here. Oh, be a little too close to that rotor. On the opposite sides of the field here too, and Faye just trying to wall them off and keep them separated. Well I I couldn't even track all that balancing with all the dots. I don't even know what's happening. There's so much ping pong happening. Oh, back end of the fair from Faye there. Damon cleaning up a stock as well. It's gonna be down to Schmendi here. Oh. There you got to bounce out, so at least gonna force Damon and Faye up into close range there. The fireball covering quite a bit. The positioning, they're trying to keep Oh, the ladder! <laughs> oh, boom! No covering that all that distance. Actually, taking a stop there as well. The top stop Shaman from getting the edge guard. Shay not quite able to kill with the up smash, but no Kamikaze for the last stop. <laughs> yeah, you know what? At that point, go out on your own terms. You know why not? <laughs> 